Playgrounds, courts, and fields are full with kids these days now that they're out of school, and more free time could mean a higher risk of head injuries. We investigate the possibilities in today's Health Matters. School's out and more kids are hitting the playgrounds, but with the increased activities comes an increased risk of developing a concussion. It's basically a big brain bruise. Doctors predict more than three million concussions will be diagnosed this year because of sports-related injuries. Statistics that don't shock neurosurgeon Dr. Dean Lynn. Most of the sports we like to watch have a lot of, <laughs> a lot of uh, high impact sports. Football, basketball, soccer, you know, baseball not as much, but mo you know, most of these are include very high impact activities. Dr. Lynn adds anytime someone takes a hit to the head and loses consciousness, it's a concussion. Like headaches, nausea and vomiting, um, problems with attention span, you know, irritability, these things can frequently happen after concussion. And with any injury to the head, seeing a physician immediately is crucial. Very bad things and swelling can happen in the brain if you take a second hit you know, very soon, shortly after the first one. The best treatment? There's, there's really no magic pill for any of these head injuries. You, typically, it's, you, it's just your body getting rid of it on its own. Dr. Lynn adds that after being diagnosed with a concussion, it's important to follow up with your doctor to make sure there aren't any additional injuries to the head. And most importantly, get the all clear to hit the playing field once again. Reporting for Lee Memorial Health System, I'm John Bafar. It's also important to monitor any sort of headaches you may suffer during the healing process that could signal a more dangerous problem.